What an absolute great day. And have I got some great news for you. I've been on this quest for Uber Eats to get my acceptance rate up to 100%, and that way I can do a test and see just how much more money I'm gonna make. Well, I had no idea, going on almost an entire year. I started out from 58%, and I just recently hit 100%. So I wanted to give you this update and share some important information that you may find interesting, concerning, or disturbing. Just a brief recap. Back in February of last year, I wanted to do a test and get my acceptance rate on Uber Eats up to 100%. And that way, I was expecting all these high paying orders to roll in. Well, I had no idea this journey was going to take almost a full year. Can you believe that? That's kind of crazy. I had no idea. But since I was dedicated to it, I was like, I'm just going to keep doing it until I get to 100%. And then I'm going to keep on going and see if I get those great orders. In light of that, I have a special warning just for you. That's right. Don't try this at home. I don't recommend this. I think it's foolish, absurd, anything that you want to describe as bad. Just don't do it. I'm the gig pro expert. I'm going to go ahead and do that experiment for you. And I'm doing this that way you can learn from my experiences and then you can be well informed if you want to take on this kind of adventure, experiment, foolishness yourself. So back in February, I started off at roughly 58% and I had 1,392 deliveries. On average, it took me four orders every four orders to raise my acceptance rate one percent by the time i got to 97 percent i had 1580 orders now the the numbers creeping up it's taking me five orders in order to raise my acceptance rate only one percent five orders and it gets worse by the time i got to 99 percent i had 1622 orders now it was averaging six orders just to raise that Uber Eats average only 1%, six. And then lo and behold, yet another month later, I finally got to 100% and you'd be surprised as well. It's now taking seven orders just to raise my Uber Eats average 1% for my acceptance rate, seven orders. So when you look back from February, this is almost the end of January now, seven orders on average to get my acceptance rate up to 100%. Now, is this going to be different for you? I have no idea. I can tell you, I, I don't ever plan on doing this again. This is so painful. And some of the lessons that I've learned from this or experienced is I'm afraid to deliver on Uber Eats if I don't have hours of dedicated time because I've taken plenty of low pay orders, long distance deliveries, before, I'll get on Grubhub and Uber Eats um, and Instacart, and if I get an order on my way home or if I'm going somewhere and I have an extra hour or so, I'll do some orders. But now I'm terrified because of my commitment to this acceptance rate challenge or experiment. I don't want to take a chance of ever having to decline an order. And so now I need to really, anytime an hour before I stop, I really need to get off Uber Eats because I might be in trouble. So right now I have 1,685 orders keeping me at that 100% acceptance rate. I am fully committed. <laughs> I'm doing it for you and for myself as well. I wanna actually just do this experiment. I've heard other creators out there on YouTube talking about different experiments that they wanna do and just see how it is. So in my market, results may vary again. I'm the gig economy expert here in my area that may not apply to your area. You're going to know your market better than me and all the orders are different. Customers are different. So I'm truly cautioning you when doing this acceptance rate. Don't try this at home. Please do not try this at home. You are not qualified. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> okay, just kidding. But seriously, don't try it at home. I have noticed my miles have gone up. Yeah, I've gotten more money on Uber Eats, but so far getting to 100%, I haven't been astounded with just high paying orders and all these great offers. 
you know, Uber Eats hasn't really reached out to just thank me for taking all the orders they send. So what you can learn from this is you better watch out because at least on Uber Eats, you get a lot of low paying orders. There's uh, flower deliveries. You know, Uber Eats is into all sorts of logistics. They're into anything to make money transporting something, whether that's food, items, medicines. And you might, if you're gonna commit to a 100% acceptance rate, you might be compelled to do something that you really don't wanna do. And we're independent contractors. It really is our choice to take all the orders that we want or don't want. And really, I've learned through experience and watching many YouTube creators out there that cherry picking is the way to go, multi-apping is the way to go, because there's just so many things that can go wrong when you're committed to just one app. But that's another story for another day, another video. Today, I just really wanted to share my excitement getting to that 100%. So where this is gonna lead, I am now, again, it's almost the end of January, I cringe to wonder how long is this really gonna take? But if the orders are there, I'm gonna keep taking them and then I'm gonna get enough data so there's no question, no anything that any rock is left unturned when it comes to acceptance rate on Uber Eats in my market. And I'll report my findings to you. In general, I already know how many miles I drive and obviously I'm not gonna be able to track it by app, but in general, I should notice a big difference in the money going up on Uber Eats and we'll see about the miles. Because again, wear and tear on your car, that is something significant that you can't take lightly. If you're interested in more details on this experiment that I've been doing, I'll have this video for you next where I go over great detail on my quite, <laughs> it was very frustrating even to get to 99%. And I share a lot more detail in that video. And so I'll have it for you next. Again, my name's Russ. Please do like the channel and like the video if you got some value. And again, don't try this at home. Please do not do this. I'm very serious. You're gonna notice a lot of wear and tear on your car. You're gonna go out of business as an independent contractor if you just take every low paying order out there. It's, it's not good. Again, I'm doing it here to have some information for you on YouTube. But if I wasn't on YouTube, I would think that I'm pretty foolish to be doing what I'm doing. So don't try it at home and I'll see you in the next video.